Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dwellers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So today, we're reviewing a Marvel comic book, Thunderbolts for Presents Zemo, Born Better, which is written by Fabian Nessia and art by Tom Grummet, which Fabian Nessia uh, uh, wrote Cable and Deadpool, which I have the complete collection for that, and I hate it. I hated that book. Uh, and uh, this book, it's the thing where, oh, and for people who don't know why I'm reviewing this, is basically, um, I reviewed Suicide Squad, right? And I don't know if a lot of people know this, but that there's, Marvel has their own version of the Suicide Squad called the Thunderbolts, which premiered in like 1997, right? Where this character is, this book is about a character who was the leader of the new Thunderbolts, who masqueraded as a superhero with his super villain team, and they eventually decided, hey, let's just be regular superheroes, forget the whole, like, ma- you know, infiltration, masquerade, or whatever that they were doing. And this character sacrificed himself, fighting an alien threat, and get, and got, end up getting transported through time. Which, very much, and this came out in 2007, so it kind of rips off Final Crisis, but it's the thing where, like, I'm not sure when exactly Final Crisis came out. <laughs> but yeah, it kind of, if, if Final Crisis, well, let me just look it up, when, when Final Crisis came out. Final Crisis, which was a DC crossover event written by Grant Morrison, art by G. Uh, J.G. Jones. 2008. Okay, so... Oh, so he didn't rip off Thunder... Uh, uh, he didn't rip off Final Crisis. Final Crisis ripped him off. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, holy sh- crap. <laughs> what a plot twist. So yeah, basically what's going on in this book... I'm going to pretty much spoil everything. It's about uh, Baron Zemo is tr- transported back in time to meet up with his different ancestors, right? And uh, basically, you know, it's ba- this book is basically a redemption story where this character has to, like, redeem, um, goes through a journey where he, where he gets, like, reintroduced to his family's history and at the same time, you know, uh, obviously decides to like redeem himself and whatever right and at the same time there's a there's a character in the present who's mac, ma- masquerading as like a german historic uh, student who's doing a thesis on the zemo lineage which if people don't know baron zemo which this character's father was the original baron zemo was uh uh, super villain on the German side in World War II, which Captain America fought, which, you know, where, like, you get, and, uh, you also get a cameo by a World War I, uh, superhero called Union Jack, who's on the cover. I would have thought, like, um, Ca- Captain America would have been on the, uh, in the book as a cameo or whatever, but, not nah, he, he isn't. Though, like, the guy... Abraham Eskin, Eskin, however you pronounce the name, who's basically, is basically, uh, what would you call it, like a, he's basically Einstein, but like, not, non-Jewish, who was working for the Nazis, and, uh, fled to America, and like, helped create Captain America, right, so he, he has a cameo, right, so I don't know, it's a thing where the book, it's not very well written, it's very short, which I got, this book normally costs ten ninety nine US, seventeen seventy five Canadian, so I'm guessing it back in 2070, Canadian comedy wasn't so great, because well, holy crap, what a huge difference, but yeah, I, I only got this book for ten bucks, and I, I was reading, I was, before I re- reread this book, which I, re- I originally picked this up like 10 years ago and I was like going through because you can see like 
they show you the different Thunderbolts uh, books, and I'm like, wow, why didn't I ever pick the, the sh stuff up? This looks cool. It's be and after I reread it, I re re remembered, oh, it's because this sucks. <laughs> like, the writing's not very good. The art is kind of okay. It's okay. It's not too bad. Right. It's not too bad. But it's the thing where the book is very, like, ham-fisted. With it's like, you know, political talk and, you know, and whatever. And it's like, oh my god. It's like, it's the thing where, like, if people think, like, hey, elites aren't a thing anymore. I'm sorry, but, like, you're wrong. Even landed elites, like, what do you, what, what do people think political families are? How did you think my prime minister got elected, right? A guy who, a guy who was a drama teacher. How did you think he became prime minister? Oh, because his dad was a prime minister, and everybody thought he would do a good job. Well, <laughs> oh my God. So like, if yeah, people think elites aren't nobles, aren't a thing anymore. I, you're sadly mistaken, right? Which this whole book is about. Like, thank God, like you know, nobles and aristocracy aren't a thing anymore. It's like, uh. Sorry to disappoint you, buddy, but, like, obviously, it's the thing where, like, I'm getting told, like, politics, you're getting, like, you're getting, like, preach on politics and, like, all this shit by a comic writer who's obviously doesn't know what the, what the heck he's talking about. Like, guy, I don't think, dude, if you, if you went to get a poli-sci degree, I would ask for your money back because, like, dude, you don't know what the heck you're talking about. And it's just like, oh, it's like th there's a reason why you're a comic book writer and you're not writing like novels or for TV or whatever, which I bet you wish you were, but you're not, which, you know, people talk crap about Jeff Loeb, but like, you know, Jeff Loeb actually wrote for movies, wrote for TV. He wasn't stuck writing comic books for the rest of his life, unlike this dude, which he probably is. So if I were to give this book a rating... It's the thing where, like, the 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 cover art for this book looks so cool that it made me feel like, it made me think, like, oh, this book was going to be great. He doesn't ha he doesn't wear this costume on the cover, by the way, until, like, the very end, where he's back in the present, by the way. Where, like, you know, despite the fact, where his, his, net well, it turns out Wendell Volker, the guy who was mas masquerading as, like, a... German uh, historic uh, student is actually, you know, actually part of the Zemo bloodline and wants to and helps to bring Zemo back to the present so he can kill him. And to do that, he had to collect all, all the different Zemos and kill them all and collect them all in one place. And the guy just lets the, the, the guy gives him this speech on why he shouldn't kill him, why he should let him, like, you know, redeem himself. And all, all this nonsense, so, so, all this nonsense, right? So he can prove to the world that he can be, you know, a, a good superhero. Even though, like, wasn't his, like, he punched his dad out because, like, his dad was talking about how, su like, you know, like, how superior their bloodline is when he met his dad in World War II. And it's like, dude, like, wouldn't, if you went out and become a great superhero... <laughs> Wouldn't you be, in a way, still be proving your dad right on, on how, like... Because, like, you don't have a lot... You don't have any powers, but you can still be you're a superhero. So, like, not a lot of people can do that. So you'd be kind of be proving your dad right that, hey, your your blood on bloodline is superior to other people. So the guy is an idiot. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. I don't know. So if I were to give this a book a rating... It's a thing where I'm probably being a, a bit too harsh on it, but I would say if I were to give it a rating, it's like a five point. It's like a five out of ten. But, uh, forget it. <laughs> don't don't pick up this book unless maybe you're a fan of new Thunderbolts, and you know you want to see. You basically want to see what your boy was up to when he was traveling for time. Which I don't know. It's a thing where like if there was a better writer. I would, I would, I wouldn't mind uh, reading new Thunderbolts, but knowing that this guy's writing it, and I read like you know, I also read his Table Deadpool book, and that was fucking terrible. 
uh, I don't think I want to read any more by this guy. So if I do pick up more Thunderbolts books, I'm definitely not picking them up with that guy's name on the cover. Which you know, when I wanted to, when I was trying to pick up Thunderbolts books back in the day, I wanted the ones that had Swordmaster on the team. Which you know, he's he's not in that lineup. So thank God for that. So yeah, that's it for this review. My next review. Uh, if I don't get that book finished in a week, the, the Inhumans book, we'll review a bunch. I found a bunch of, uh, Suicide Squad books that I had, single issues that were part of the Janus Directive, uh, which has, like, which has Peacemaker in it, who's going to be in the new Suicide Squad movie. Because I went to the comic book store hey, and asked them, Hey man, do you have any books of Peacemaker? And despite the fact that there's a new Suicide Squad book that premiered with Peacemaker in the team that came out like a month ago, he's like, no man, I don't. <laughs> it's like, obviously you didn't do... Obviously, you didn't know, like, you know, your home, do your homework, buddy, because it turns out, oh, yeah, P Peacemaker is, like, you know, in comics nowadays. So, like, unfortunately, I couldn't pick up any Peacemaker books, but I, I, I have some, you know, with him in it, which, uh, unfortunately, the, I don't have all the Janus Directive books, but I only have, like, four of them, and that's issue one, which is... Uh, part one with uh, claim, which is, which is checkmate issue 15, checkmate issue 16, which is part three of the Janus Directive, pa Janus Directive part four with Suicide Squad, which was Suicide Squad issue 28, uh, and Suicide Squad issue 29, which is the Janus Directive um, part eight. So it's like holy crap! What other books were part of the? The crossover, I don't know. I think Firestorm and Captain Adam are mentioned because there's this really cool issue where uh, Peacemaker fights Major Force, which is like a Captain Adam villain. Which Major Force was also a major villain, a major villain in the Green Lantern Kyle Rayner books, which I tried to read some and I did not like at all. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. If uh, yeah, if I don't finish um, Inhumans by next week, we'll review these books, which you know, I remember them being pretty cool. Which I picked these books up at the at an antique store, which is sadly no longer around. Which you know, I need to find like a places where I can buy old comic books because my my the new my uh, sorry my local comic book store guy he 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 has a lot of. He has a lot of trades, has a lot of, you know, he, he gets all the new books, but, like, he doesn't have a lot, a huge inventory on old, on back issues and on older books, unfortunately. But, like, you know, he'll, de he'll dedicate, like, half his book, uh, store to, like, selling toys and shit. <laughs> you know, which is, you know, I I'm sorry, but if you're old, if you're, like, you know, 25, over 25 and you're still buying toys... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if, if it's a thing where you, you already have a family, you, you already have your own place, and yeah, it's okay, but if you don't, and you're still buying uh, shit, then that's uh, that's a problem. Which, you know, sometimes I'll do that too, but it's like, you know, we, we need to work on that. We need, we need to stop that, alright? Alright guys, that's it for today's review. Peace. And tomorrow, um, we're gonna, you know, have our weekly mecha anime review and we're going to also review some DMX movies because DMX uh, sadly today uh, died in the hospital um, he was in a coma because you know he had an OD on crack apparently I'm not 100% sure but uh, yeah so rest in peace uh, DMX you were my favorite rapper alright guys